Is Forza trolling Gran Turismo 7? Oh my word, this could be the biggest troll. They're, they're starting the flame war because we know in the Gran Turismo 7 latest update there's been no track, people have been complaining. What do Forza do? They come out with a reveal of a track for Forza Motorsport. Absolutely unbelievable scenes here. Very, very, very salty. I'm going to take you through it and I want to look at the track detail. I want to look at the environment. So you can see they've uploaded a 4K trailer for this and I want to compare it with Gran Turismo 7. Now the weird thing is a lot of the Forza um, trailers that we've seen so far have been like really compressed way beyond natural YouTube compression. They've been in odd lighting conditions. This looks to be fairly similar. You can see we're in 4K here, but we have way more compression than I would expect in a 4K YouTube video. But you can see we've got lots of detail in the crowd. This is way more crowd detail than you get in Gran Turismo 7. This is Eagle Rock Speedway, by the way. It's not the most exciting track in the world, which is why I think Forza have done this deliberately. They're kind of looking at the sentiment of Gran Turismo 7 and playing on that. At least that's what I think anyway. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. You can also see there's some stuff, I think, in the air. There may be some balloons. We're in an Audi. Is that an Audi A1? Maybe or an A3? Um, maybe an Audi RS3, Quattro, I don't know. Um, you can see here at Eagle Rock Speedway. This obviously you could say is similar to something like Blue Moon Bay in Gran Turismo 7 if you want that comparison. Blue Moon Bay in Gran Turismo 7 feels very empty. It feels like a weird empty space where like you have big airliners going overhead. This one looks more alive. We've got all of the flags as well. Nice bit of motion blur there. You can see here, not really too much to see is there sort of the fake advertising. And then the Audi, again, quite a bit of motion blur. This is the actual track. You can see there's a bit of a chicane here. It sort of reminds me of um, Charlotte Speedway. So we've got the oval, but then we've also got this um, interesting chicane bit here. Um, I imagine the pits are here and you can see the pit exit. Two big uh, grandstands burn through the street. Don't know what that means at all. <laughs> so this is one main grandstand. So they're, they're shooting it to maximize the uh, track detail they can show in this trailer. Looks like it might be a slightly later time of day already. I don't know. Are there more shadows? You can see here we've got in the bottom right and we've got people, uh, you know, tents up and marquees, all that kind of stuff as well. Some more shaking around. Oh, maybe it's an A4. Maybe it's an Audi RS4, actually. I think I've named every Audi in the range so far, haven't I? And you can see here on the left-hand side, we've got some barbecues and people stuffing around. If you look at the people on the left-hand side, some of them don't really have shadows, so it looks like they're floating. Now, and if you look at the ones closer to the timing board, they have very distinct shadows. So something very interesting going on there with shadows. Now, if you play Gran Turismo 7, in some of the single player races, they will actually uh, do a lot of track detail. Like in some particular single player race at Nautch Life, you will have barbecues and smoke. But in most races, you don't, which is really weird. I don't know why they don't max out the track detail. This, again, has that feeling of being a living, vibing sort of place where people are coming to see you race, which was quite interesting. Look how barren it is um, at the top of the screen. That sort of uh, vista. It's very like Rome Total War, like 20 years ago. Got the carbon fiber mirrors. We've got a reflection. Nowhere near as much glare as you get in Gran Turismo 7, which is the real glare simulator. And uh, also some quite nice translucency, I think, on the front um, windscreen there. Going to the interior view, uh, I think Gran Turismo 7 is probably going to destroy Forza on the interior view, but this looks pretty detailed. You can see some sort of leather detailing on the right hand side there and some more carbon fibre trim. You can even see some of the detailing around the Quattro badge if you, if you look really clo closely there of the uh, textured material, which is quite nice. Again, we've got the reflections on the bonnet. You know, 10 years ago, that would have been amazing, but now it's just standard fare, really. And uh, again, a lot of motion blur going on. Um, is this going to be a 60 FPS game on Xbox Series S? I do not know. And again, we've got some glare on the front.
going over Eagle Rock. I remember when uh, Grand Tourism 7 launched Watkins Glen as a free update. It was a very similar uh, image to this one. And there we go. Game Pass, Xbox Series X and Steam, but also it will be free on Game Pass. Free, not as free on Game Pass, the right word. It will be included on Game Pass. So I think Forza are doing a little bit of trolling here. Let's be real. Their biggest rival is Gran Turismo 7. Everyone's complained that Gran Turismo 7 haven't been adding new tracks. So what do Forza do? <laughs> they do an official track reveal. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, new track coming to Forza. Let me know if you're hyped for it. And I'll see you. See you next time.